Simeon. Good morning, Paul. You know, I probably wouldn't have to say anything about you playing with your food if you hadn't just yeeted it across our entire kitchen. Are you eating that burrito? No, I'm just looking at it. Obviously, what else would I be doing with it? That's not. Are you going to clean that up? Yeah. You good, man? Typical. What was that? I'm gonna give you a black eye. That's racist. Did you think I said black guy? No. So I had this dream last night. Uh, not this again, dude. Come on. You don't want to hear about my dreams? No, I don't want to hear about your stupid dream theories. Bit harsh. So, you want to tell me about one of your dreams? Nope. Come on, man. Why not? Because you're going to do what you always do and microanalyze everything I tell you and somehow determine I'm the second coming of Christ. Dude, the signs were clear. Me having a dream that I had a pug named Jesus does not make me a divine being all of a sudden. Well, it doesn't even make me Spanish, really. I know a few dozen biblical scholars that'd be inclined to disagree with you. Nobody knows that many biblical scholars, man. Whatever. 
Besides, I didn't have any dreams last night anyway. What? Come on, man. That's not true. What is that supposed to mean? Anna! No! Anna, no! Anna, no! Simeon, I just woke up. Do we really Anna, have- Anna, no! Don't go there! Anna! Come on, man. Okay, I will tell you about the dream. But no, theories, please. Okay, so I'm walking through the woods, all alone, just walking, and I don't really know where I'm going or where I came from, and I'm about to turn back when I come across this mushroom. Big cliche, but okay. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, so um, I tried to pick it up, but the thing is like, really stuck in there, right? And it just won't budge. And I'm about to leave when I look up and I see this little cottage. Were the walls smooth? As opposed to what other type of wall? I don't know. I just know that the walls represent the male body. Why would I be dreaming about the male body? <laughs> it's your dream, dude. Okay, they weren't smooth walls, they were bumpy walls. Stucco. Stucco, yes. Okay, so they were stucco. What does stucco represent? Okay, good. So, I go into this house, and it's this little one-room place. No furniture, nothing on the walls, just a few windows and a fireplace on the back wall. And you're there, and, um... You were standing there, in the middle of the room, all alone, and you're holding a sandwich, and- Was it regular or sub? Um, sub. Dude! Phallic symbol! What? <laughs> it's obvious, dude. You got it bad for me, man. I knew you would do this. I cannot believe you right now. That, plus the smooth walls? Dude, you can't even deny it. They were stucco. Yeah, right, they were stucco. They were. How long was it? The wall? No, the sub. Six inch? Oh my god. What? Nothing. Nothing. What? What does that mean? Nothing, dude. Just leave it. So, would you like to hear the rest of the story, or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so you were standing there with your sandwich. Uh. I asked you why you were standing all alone in the middle of this room with nothing but a sandwich and you began to tell that story that you tell about how you met a woman who looks vaguely like your mom and just so happened to have the same name. Come on, Paul. The odds of something like that happen? Can I finish? My dream, please. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so you were telling this story when this girl... Anna? Anna. Okay, so what happens? Well, she walks past the window, right up to the mushroom, and... She picks it up, like it's nothing, and... She eats it. <coughs> she eats it? Yeah. And, um... Then she makes this... Really... Weird sound, and she starts... Grabbing her throat. And I try to move, and I try to save her. Um, but the door to the house is locked, and I look around the room to help break it down, but there's no furniture. And I look outside, and she can't breathe, and she's holding her throat. And I try to kick the door down, but it won't budge, and her face is turning blue, and I can't do anything to save her. And, and, um... And, and what? What happens next? And then I wake up. Huh. Hmm. Well? What?
What does it mean? It's pretty clear, man. Yeah. You have a crush on your sister. Come on, man! What? I'm serious! I cannot believe you sucked me into this again. You're not funny. Anna? Translate it to Greek. Scion. Scion meaning sister. Scion is a color. It is not Greek. It's a Greek color. I don't even have a sister. That you know of. I don't. <sighs> Alright. Maybe... Maybe I interpreted it wrong. You think? Maybe you gotta think for Cynthia. Oh, gross, dude. What? I mean, she's not my sister, but she's like a sister. But... legal. You are... gross. You are seriously disgusting, you know that? Come on, Paul. And why do you keep calling me that? What? Paul, you just called me Paul. That's twice now. I'm confused, what? You just called me Paul. 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 Paul? Paul. I thought your name was Paul. It is, it is Paul. That's what I'm saying. And weren't you eating a burrito earlier? Simon, are you okay? I don't think so. Do you want a burrito? No, I... got this. Do you think Anna was real? Do you think I should even care? It's your dream, Anna. I can't decide for you. No one can. It means what it means for you and no one else. But you said it meant- Does it matter what I think it means? It would make it easier. If I tell you what it means to me, then it won't mean anything to you. You must decide. It's your life, not anyone else's. Can I have some of your burrito? Hi. Uh, Paul. Hi, Simeon. Simeon told me he would tell me, but really he was telling me that I had to tell me. That's okay, Simeon. You don't have to listen to what Simeon thinks of your dreams or what he thinks you deciding the meaning means, whatever that means. Who's to say that anything means anything? Things only mean what they mean because we decide that they do. Not knowing doesn't mean you aren't okay any more than it means that I'm your father. Are you my father? Yes, but that's besides the point. But how can you be my father? The point is that no one really knows what they're doing. They just pretend to be in control and hope that no one asks them a question they can't answer. They do? Yes. Make it up as they go along. Fake it until they make it. You'll figure it out eventually, my son. Really? No, I lied. That was a lie. No one ever really gets it. But that's the beauty of it all, isn't it? If nothing means anything, then nothing means anything. But why does it always have to mean something? 
Why can't it just mean nothing and everything is normal and everyone is okay? Because even the absence of meaning means something. I'm lost. So is everyone saying. Some people just hide it better. You don't have to be afraid to mean something in this world. Meaning is all around you. In the mailboxes and boxcars. In the rundown Dairy Queen they tore down in the mall. There's an abundance of meaning in this world. Most of it meaningless. And most of it, if not all of it, meaningless as it is. It means something meaningful to meaningless beings. I don't get it. Life is confusing, Simeon, but you aren't alone. There's meaning all around you. Good luck. But what does the dream mean? What do I mean? That's for you to decide, not me. But... Goodbye, Simeon! Are you done yet? I thought this was supposed to be a comedy sketch. Real life isn't that simple, man. But this isn't real life. I'm dreaming. I have to be. Does it matter? Why can't you just enjoy the ride? I like cheesecake. Yeah. Me too.